Hello folks and welcome back to Shogun Total War. I am Kana Step and this is going to be part 8 of my Sun Goku Jedi campaign where I am playing as Clan Hojo. And in the last episode I was able to defend Tosa multiple times from attacks from the Mori Clan and from Rebels themselves. I'm still waiting on a port being built here so I'm kind of on my own right now. And things are pretty dicey. I can only train one unit at a time here in Tosa. And I have been hanging on. Actually it's kind of... It's crazy that this general is not a five-star general by now because he's been a four-star before those three victories. And now, does it, does it, will it say here? Does it say how many battles he's won? It says he's won 12. Hmm. And three of those have been with me. So he should probably be five stars by now, I would, I'm thinking. But yeah, he's, uh, it's, it's a pretty precarious situation here in Tosa. It's going to be two more turns, I think, before the... Port is finished. I think that that's two more turns. And then it'd be a third turn before I can get an army over here. So, yeah, things are a little bit, a uh, little bit on edge over there. In the north, I am building up my armies to come join my outposts here. I have been setting up this army here in Kazuke just to kind of reinforce my center here, but I think that I should start getting it down closer to a port. Actually, hmm. I can just do that in Mutsu. Okay. Yeah. I, I love how this branch of this province just reaches out and touches all these other <laughs> provinces. It's really helpful. So that's nice. I can... Let's see. I don't need those archers. But I do need some more cav. And I do want to bring another Naginata over. I can start training Naginata cav as well. That's going to be nice. And uh, more archers. Bring them down, bring them down. So yeah, this army is still... Still a little ways away from being ready. Ready, but... As soon as this port opens up, I will bring it over. I'm not going to really wait for it to be a full army. I just need troops here quickly. Other than that, I mean, things are getting pretty tense here in the, centr in the center. Um, Mori is very strong. They have... All of this, all of this, they have a few provinces here. They're taking over half of Kyushu. They're pretty strong. Um, it's only, the only problem is that unfortunately for them, a lot of these provinces are very poor, so they're not that strong. But you know, they have some pretty decent troops for sure. Some Nodachi Samurai, some Warrior Monks with some gold plated or bronze plated armor. Gold plated would be crazy. And Oda, you know, Oda's kind of doing Oda things. They have a bunch of scary looking silver shielded Naginata, but nothing like too crazy. You know, a lot of Ashigaru. So I think I'm going to be able to hold here in Isa and Kaga. And at least I do have ports in these provinces. So if I do need emergency reinforcements, I can bring them over. And things are pretty tense here overall. I mean, Chica I mean, sh did I just, was I going to say Chicago? Am I Yes, Clan Chicago. Uh, Imagawa here in Shinano. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I was, I was mixing up Chicago and Shinano. Very different places, I'm told. I've never been to either of them. But Shinano here this is where the Imagawa clan has most of their power. And it's not... They're, they're kind of stuck. They haven't really been, ob been able to branch out against me. They, they had an opportunity versus the Takeda, but they didn't clinch it. And they really should have. And... They are at war... Yeah, they are... F no, they're not at war with the Shimazu. Yeah, that's that's right. So they don't... They have uh, they have some, you know, troops. And they have some provinces, but they're kind of stuck. And Takeda, you know, is just lucky to still be alive. But they are here. So it's, it's kind of... It's reaching a boiling point here where... Mori is taking over Kyushu, as I was saying. The Imagawa still have their territories here. But other than that... Everyone's kind of like just building up right now and waiting for it to boil over. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when that finally happens. You know, I would expect Oda and Mori to kind of dogpile in on me here in Issa. That just seems likely, I think. But they're not allied yet, at least. So they're also not enemies, though. So this is a little bit, you know, spicy. And, you know, I, I know Hida, Shimazu could be here forever because Hida's not that valuable. Making 120 Koku. It is valuable in the sense that there's a lot of buildings here that can be destroyed for money. And 
the Shimazu garrison's not that strong, so why not kill him? I mean, in fact, I just noticed that the Imagawa emissary here... So they are keeping an eye on this place. They are looking to see if, you know, they should take it, I'm assuming. So yeah, that's going to be it, I think. I mean, there's really not much else. My second eldest heir is still uh, eight years away before he becomes of age, so... That's something to keep an eye on. Uh, not really right now, but eventually I'll have to keep an eye on it. And yeah, so it's spring, so I have three turns to spend money before the end of this year. Um, it's going to be important to not make the same mistake as I did last year. I need to be able to train three units, you know, one for every single turn this year. So I can't run out of money. I need to be able to, you know, do that here. Well, at the same time, obviously focusing on building up this army. So I think I'm going to be fine this turn, but it's going to be like next turn and the turn after that. I'm going to have to keep an eye on things and maybe maybe cancel these archers for now because I don't really need archers right now. I think I'm fine on that. I have enough archers for this army. I just need Naginata, Yari Samurai, some more Cav, and that's, and that's about it. Then this army is going to be ready to go. Let's see... Yeah. Yeah, looks good. All right, so that's going to be that. I think... Let me just double check some things. Yeah, that's going to be it. So let's just cross our fingers and hope that I don't get attacked this turn. I could really use a little respite here in Tosa. But we will see. I mean, you know... It's going to be tough because this is a three-star general. And that does change things. I've kind of relied on... In that last three battles, I've really relied on breaking the enemy quickly, you know? But three stars is three stars, man. That's a, that's an army that will stay and fight a little bit longer. So, yeah, really hoping that they don't attack. Let's see if I can kind of get away with one here. Population loyalty is all good. Yeah, end the turn. All right, Tea House has been finished for the, what is this, the third time in Kazusa. Let's hope that it doesn't get... Get uh, washed away this time. And it looks like a ninja is going after my emissaries in Kaga. You got past my two shinobi bodyguards. God damn him. Ooh. Oh, looks painful. Ow. Got one of my emissaries. Okie dokie. And no freaking way. No way. No way. Okay. Uh, note to self. Don't... <laughs> build tea houses in Kazusa. This is insane. <laughs> um, so that's annoying because, like, you know, my whole plan of <laughs> training up to having geishas at some point. Well, I guess I can't do that here in Kazusa. So let me just do that somewhere else. Um, yeah, I, yeah, may as well. May as well do that somewhere else. Let's, let's go to Ninja House here in Dewa, the western side of Japan, which is not going to be... So this is facing, you know, like China and Korea and all that and Russia. So they don't get s storms, I guess. And I don't know. I, I think it's like actually implemented in this map where it's the side of Japan that gets a lot of... I guess earthquakes would be everywhere, right? But it's the typhoons that happen on this side. So you, you supposedly get them a lot in Izu and Kazuza, you know, maybe these provinces as well. Yeah. I, I, I guess I haven't really paid that much attention to it. I, I'm trying to think, like, does it not ever happen on these provinces? Or is it just earthquakes? Like, does Noto get anything? I can't remember. Hmm. I'm going to have to start keeping an eye on that. Because this is just ridiculous. That is that is absurd. Man. All right. Man, that's just dumb. So, and it's always the tea house. Like, why? Why? What, what is, what's, what does an earthquake have against tea? All right. Well, in any case, I was able to make it a turn without being attacked. Thank Jesus. Thank Buddha. And I think uh, at this point, uh, let's get an archer here. And other than that... Um, that's tricky because, so this ninja that's in Kaga that killed my other emissary, he's still there, and there's not going to be, like, a catch chance 
Unless I bring in another emissary, I believe. Because he already got by these two. But I believe if I bring in another one, or if I just maybe, you know, take this emissary away and potentially draw the ninja potentially into this trap, that might work. Or he'll go after my four-star general. And, I mean, good luck with that, because four-star general is going to be kill hard to kill. I say that, but, like, you know, if this... Ninja kills my four star general. I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> after what after what happened in my Imagawa campaign. Oh my god. Just don't even Don't even. I'm not even gonna bring I'm not even gonna talk about it. Nope. Don't even want to. If you wanna know, watch the campaign. <laughs> oh. Alright, so I got a bit of money to spend. It's gonna be two turns before this year's over. And hmm. Yeah, I'm not, nothing too crazy. I just want to, you know, obviously get that ninja house going in Dewa and make sure I can train my Naginata infantry, make sure I can train up another Naginata cav. And actually, do I need more Naginata? Let's see, from, I have three. That's four. Okay, that's fine. I just want more and more. I want a Yari Samurai. And where does that bring me at? One, two, three. And then what else do I need after that? Oh no, that's it. Yeah, that's it. After these troops are trained up here in Shimosa and Hitachi, then I can send this army along with those units over to Tosa. And not a moment too soon, because that's going to be the time. Yeah, it's going to be finished at the end of this turn. Yes, sweet. That's perfect. Perfect timing. Awesome. Very, very nice. And you better believe it. This guy is going to be my general. Yes, sir. Hosokawa Kazuji, you are going to be leading this army, this badass Hojo army that I'm going to be sending to you. And your first mission is going to be to conquer Shikoku. Take all of this and then go from there. Just really put a thorn in the side of the Mori clan, you know? So that's going to be it for, uh, yeah, this turn. So let's just keep a move on. Ooh, not a lot of money. Ooh, ugh. Porch has been finished. Okay. All right. Uh, all right, yeah, so it looks like, and this is just, you know, I can't prove this, but it looks like that ninja was on a kill mission for this emissary, and by bringing him into this, you know, this province with four shinobi, he, f he followed me right in and got caught, which I can't prove, but, you know, that's how this works. They kind of home, they home in, you know, you can put them on missions, I can't, I can't do it right now, but, oh yeah, I can, like... If I were to do, if I were to do like this, I'm not going to, but if I wanted to propose a ceasefire, I, I don't really care, but like I could p click yes. And then that emissary is going to automatically going to make his way over there. And that's how the, that's how the agents work with emissaries. It's not that big of a deal because the only thing that kills them is ninjas. But with ninjas and shinobi, it's kind of a big deal because you want to manually move them through enemy territory so they don't get caught by at least border forts. You want to keep an eye out for border forts. If you see this building, you don't want to bring your shinobi and your ninjas in there. You want to avoid it. Now, they still can get caught by, you know, enemy shinobi, which you can't see. But you'll at least increase your chances of being able to move around if you avoid these buildings. And once you get to your target, that is with a ninja... You can still fail the assassination attempt, of course. That's, you know, why it's so hard using ninjas in this game. But we are ready now with this army, so let's bring, uh, let's bring him over to Tosa. Here we are, and let's just bring these units over as well. And we're just going to be ready to unleash a rampage upon this island pretty soon here. In fact, maybe what I do right now, since I have some money left, I need to go back to training up Shinobi. Oh god, I can't, can I? I don't have any tea houses. Oh god. <laughs> and, I, and I started building um, a ninja house here, not a tea house, so I can't, I can't even, uh, God, oh, it's so dumb. 
All right, so I have to wait for this to be built. And then I can start building a tea house there, and then I can train Shinobi. Okay, well, this should be fine. I think I have enough Shinobi uh, on the map as is, but I want more. I want more, you know, I always want more. It is tax season, so it's going to be punitive taxes. And let's see, how much is this for? Uh, 400 for Naginata. And how much for 450 for Naginata Cav? Let's see. Yeah, I may as well get a unit of Naginata Cav going. Or not. I don't know. Let's do some Naginata Infantry. And that's probably going to be it for this year. I think everything else is pretty good looking. Yeah, that's all looking good. Let's end the turn. Making five grand. That's not bad. I mean, it's not great, but, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen when you're not taking territory and you're just training more soldiers. And that's it with an average harvest as well. So, eh, yeah, it's, that's fine. And the Portuguese have landed in Awari. Okay, well, let's... I wonder if the Oda are going to take them up on that and convert to Christianity. Because that would be pretty, pretty cool. Because uh, that's, uh, it'd be nice to see like the Oda clan with guns. It's always always fun. It just seems right. It just feels right, you know? Now it's time to get this army together and get this... Uh, Get this man a gun. Yeah, uh, he needs to take over this island and probably, probably just, yeah, split him, split this army in half and take Awa and Io at the same time, is what I'm thinking. These Nodachi Samurai can get involved in the mix as well, have a little fun with it. This is now ready to go, so let's end the turn here. Ninja House finished in Dewa. All right, all right. Let's see, so... Wait, what? A message has arrived from Lord Shimazu. Hostilities between myself and Lord Mori make it impossible to remain allied to me. I thought that they were at war. What? Did they take a, ce Did they take a ceasefire and then become allies with the clan that took like all of Kyushu off of them? What? Is it <laughs> No freaking way. Oh my god. The Shimazu clan are just the biggest pushovers in this game. My god. So they did take back... At least they took back their capital, Satsuma. But... That's... That's, uh... So they have Osumi, Satsuma, and Higo. And then they have Hida. And that and that's it. That's the Shimazu clan right now. My goodness gracious. And so they broke up their alliance with me. Me. <laughs> like the only conflict that I've ever had with them was when I took Sato off of them. And that like wasn't even their guys anyway. That was that was the Yusugi's soldiers that were inherited by the Shimazu clan. Oh, such silliness. Such silliness. In any case, I got this army that's uh, being built here in Mutsu, ready to go to either Isa or Kaga. Probably Isa would be my guess. And now I can... Oh my god, I did not even... <laughs> Jesus. I didn't even attack. I split my army up. And I did... Oh, okay, yeah. So here I am. <laughs> I'm attacking these provinces. I split this army up in half, going after Awa and then Eo. Ugh, yeah. Actually, that come, that might bite me in the ass a little bit here because it looks like they have more soldiers in EO now. Okay, so I need to rethink how I'm going to split this up. Now that... Huh, I should probably put it... It's going to be too late. I can't... I don't know what they have, but... So there's barely anything in EO. So this is overboard for sure. But, uh, yeah, let's bring some Naginata Cav over and 
Maybe a Yari Samurai. Is there anyone else? I feel like that's... Probably don't need four archers. Alright, that should be okay. There we go, and there we go. Let's do that. And that's probably going to be it for this turn. Here we are in the Battle of EO. 713 of my guys versus 510 of theirs. And they may have moved their three-star general. I don't know. It looks like he's here in Awa, actually. So this one might go... Uh, this one might be an easy one for me. We'll see. We are going to be fighting in a little bit of rain here, but I think that's going to be okay. I mean, they have... Let's see, a couple archers. Looks like it's just maybe two archers. And they do have some Naginata as well. It's not its not the worst army. I mean, they, it's, it's a little... Uh, they got something there. But I feel like my army is a little bit more well-balanced here. All I've done is move around the side of this hill to get a better engagement on their flank. And so far, they've repositioned a little bit, but uh, I like where I'm at. They are sending an archer forward, so it looks like they are going to be trying to take an engagement somewhere on this hill here. But I feel like if I can just kind of crest the hill here, I'll have a pretty pretty good uh, advantage. So I want to press forward with my infantry and try to go here and then here as well. And then come forward with my reserves and then come forward with my second group of reserves. And then, let's see, on this side, am I taking shots at my cab? No, I'm not. They're out of range. So I just kind of want to threaten their flank here. And then I have another unit of Naginata cab that can kind of bring up here. And that's going to be looking pretty good. Let's see, so, yeah, it's just the two units of archers. How many Naginata do they have? One unit, two, three, four, four? Four units? Jesus, okay. And their general is in the Yari cab unit, so... The Naginata, they're gonna definitely be a roadblock for sure. I mean, they're gonna, they'll hold there, but they're not very threatening from a offensive standpoint. And it looks like, yeah, it looks like they're falling back at this point, pretty much all across the board. So let's just take this one step at a time and make sure that if they do turn around and engage us, we're still in formation. Here's the engage engagement that I was looking for. So Naginata on Naginata combat right here. Let's see, these guys are bronze shielded. I can't, I don't know what their shield are on that on that Naginata. Let's see, um... Honestly, I'm not too fussed about Naginata charging into Ashigaru. I'm pretty sure they will wipe that up pretty soon here, or pretty quickly here. And let's see, I want Nodachi crashing into the flank here so we can get them, get them fighting if we probably break them, yeah, they're broken and now we can just bring our Naginata Cav into the flank of this little group and then on this side, let's see, Yari Cav so I can just have this entire group run down all of these archers here in the back because yeah, there, oh there is some Naginata and some spears, but for the most part yeah, I think my Yari Cav and my Naginata Cav should do very well at wiping up this all up. And yeah, that's being cleaned up. They're running away. And now we're going to have my Naginata Cav here. Chase down. And then here we can potentially just kill all of these archers. And Naginata. And that'll do. I only lost 53 and I killed 449. That was a very effective cleanup operation. My, oh my. Yes, that was a... Uh, man, this unit of Naginata Cav got 172 kills, only lost 13 men. Jesus. All right, well, that was uh, that was pretty good for me. Now let's see how we do in Awa. So let's see. It looks like the fight is going to be a little bit closer. They do have a three-star general here. And uh, yeah, that's okay, though, because I should have enough archers. I think I brought enough to, uh, you know use my normal bridge baiting tactics. So let's get this one done. 
Well, they only have about a unit and a half, a little bit more, a unit and 40 men of archers. And I, luckily for me, I'm looking at no Nakinata. That's sweet. I'm just facing off against Ashigaru, Ashigaru, Ashigaru and um, Yari, uh, Yari Samurai. And of course, the uh, the classic Yari Cab as well. So let's kind of get back here, guys, and try to avoid a charge from Yari Cav. Let our archers get some shots in here. Yeah, they're catching they're catching my guys, they're catching my guys. But these Naginata have silver shields. I mean, they're they're made to take a beating. They're good at this stuff. And we will be able to wipe out this unit of Yari Cav. But I can bring some spears down, just in case. So far, I would say that my archers are not doing as much damage to them as I would have liked or expected to. I'm starting to think at this point, I think I'm a little little less than halfway on ammunition and I'm starting to wonder if I'm gonna have to come in for a round two here. Would not be at the end of the world. I mean, I got plenty of soldiers here in Shikoku at this point, so that's not a big issue, but yeah, it's always uh, it's always unfortunate having to, you know, come back and do it again, especially, oh man, I better not lose a command star on this guy. He's my four star general. Somehow he didn't make a rank five and this battle, yeah, if I have to retreat, this is not gonna go well for him. I do have some Nodachi Samurai, you know? Like, they potentially could be used to break the lines, but man, that's just, doing like an actual head-on engagement and a bridge battle is just so freaking, it's just so costly. It's just so, so costly. And there's still a lot of infantry here, you know? Uh, full unit of Yara Samurai on this side. Ashigaru, nothing crazy, but with the three-star general kind of keeping the morale going, it just means that this army is going to hold, you know, a long time. They're going to fight. If we meet here, they're going to fight for a very, very long time. So that's probably not a good thing for me. So I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of use up the rest of our ammunition here and then come back and fight another day. At this point, if they just want to fight me on the bridge, I mean, they're not shooting their arrows. And I can just get rid of this one Yari Samurai. After that, there's a 37 unit of your Sam right here. Oh, jeez. I'm not going to be tempted to do this, am I? I mean, I... I do have a pretty decent army here, you know? Having my Nodachi come in here and eventually break this unit of, you know, 19 Yari Samurai continuing on into this 37 unit. After that, you know, we got Ashigaru and Archers, pretty much. And, you know, 40 Nodachi Samurai, they can hit pretty freaking hard, so... Maybe, <laughs> maybe I actually go for it here. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yes, this is what I'm thinking. Let's send in my Yari Samurai here and here. Make sure that they are on engage at will. Make sure everyone's on engage at will. My archers are out of ammunition, so at this point... I can send them into fight. These 14, there we I was just going to say, they're holding on pretty well, but yeah, there we are. That's done, so let's go in here and let's, let's take on this unit of Yari Samurai here. And yeah, they're going to, they're going to meet me on this bridge here, which is not a good position for me. I'm pretty sure that I get a morale debuff by fighting on the bridge, but as long as, I was going to say, as long as these archers aren't fighting me, which are shooting at me. And, they, and they're not, which I, I'd be surprised if they're out of ammo. Are they going to shoot? Not right now. Yeah, if we can just break this 34-man unit of Yari Samurai, we should probably be able to get into the goody jar here. The general is going to retreat. That makes sense. He's going to leave his men behind to hold this bridge. And at this point, I'd say we just pile in with, with the rest of our troops here. So let's go, go, go. And, uh, Yari Cav, just get in there just to get ready to, like, chase down once we break this. Yeah, because they're not even piling in all of their soldiers. They're kind of retreating back and leaving the units that are defending this bridge to die. So that helps us out for sure, because now we can just kind of break this pocket 
and then potentially push on. See, they can't decide what they want to do right now. They have some units back here that would be better off, you know, fighting me here, but they keep trying to retreat. And there we go, that's the break that we're looking for. So at this point, let's just go full sand with everyone that we have. And get into the archer unit here. The rest of these guys want to run away, leave this archer unit to kind of hold us up to try to cover their retreat. Now they're broken. And what, who is next? I, I say, I mean, let's get that general. First off, let's see, I have, um... Where's my calf? Okay, Yari calf. I don't know why they're not going, but so this is just kind of a mess. My guys are all, this army is all strung out. I didn't give them time to react. I just kind of figured the army is going to keep retreating. And yeah, it looks like they're going to keep retreating. And it looks like my, my Yari calf might have gotten stuck on the bridge, which I don't, <laughs> huh. I don't know if I've ever seen this happen. Okay, can you guys go? Can you guys get off the bridge or are you guys stuck? Huh. What's going on here? Well, that would be helpful for sure. Looks like we are in combat with the general's unit right now, and that's gonna be good, but it would be nice if I could get my... There we go, Yari Cav, get off the bridge, get off the bridge, go, go, go. And see if you can chase down this archer unit here. And that's gonna do. I was not able to kill the general because my freaking Yari Cav were just getting stuck on the dumbest things. So I only killed 281, I lost 107. I was not able to kill their general, which is too bad because three-star general in the Mori uh, clan, that's possibly a heir. So it's too bad that I didn't really, you know, finish the job there. I mean, I don't know if it was an heir, but in any case, I was able to pillage two, uh, 325 Koku. And Nasu Nobukimi is promoted to second rank out here in EO. Nice. And yeah, still four stars. Man, what, what does a guy have to do? And yeah, let's see. This is going to take two turns before this falls. And it's not, so it's not an heir. It's just a regular three-star general. But in any case, he should starve to death here in Awa. They have a sizable, eh, okay, it's not much. They don't have much here in Awaji. It would not be able to. And yes, this is a river province that I own now. So they would not be able to, you know, take it if, if uh, they tried to sally out. Now, as far as EO, can I hold EO? Jesus Christ. Okay, so they have a four-star general, also not an heir, here in Bungo. A lot of archers. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. They have one warrior monk unit. One Yari Samurai. And then a bunch more archers and a couple units of Naginata. Infantry. Ooh, ooh, that's a little bit, uh, it's a little bit dicey. Hmm. I don't know if this army can hold out against all of that, honestly. I mean, three units of cav can do can do a lot of damage versus all of those archers for sure. And then two Naginata infantry and then one warrior monk, basically. Yeah, actually, yeah. I think so. I think I match up pretty well now that I think about it. So let's start building a castle here in EO. And then I'll finish this siege here in Awa. And is there anyone else? Like, do I want to bring soldiers up right away? Or do I want to... I think if I just train soldiers here in Tosa, I think I'm fine with that. So who do I... Who do I really... I don't know. I think just spearmen right now. Yeah, just get some more... Just get some more spear boys out. That should do... And other than that, though, how are we looking? Yeah, they still, they're not making any attacks here. I see, I just expect this to happen. Like, they have to attack me in East at some point, right? Well, that's going to do for this turn. Nothing else to really keep my eye on, except for the epicenter of conflict here in Chikoku. So let's see if the Mori clan decides to attack me here in Eo. And if that happens, then let's see if I will be able to withstand the attack. Tea house has been finished in Dewa. All right, and no. All right, so they're going to Buzin instead. Interesting. Wow. Hmm. It's unexpected. Really thought that they're going to go for it there. Okay. All right. Takeda wants a piece of me again. Oh man. Okay. 
Will they outnumber me by, a, you know, a little bit, a couple hundred? Um, now, I n never actually, like, restocked my army. It's still in pretty good shape, but, I mean, it's a little bit... It's a little bit banged up here or there. Uh, that is my army here in to uh, Musashi. But still, with the amount of archers that I have, oh, it's just going to be brutal. Just absolute brutality. And, yeah, they're, it's funny they're going after me and not, like... You know, the Imagawa or someone, anyone else. So, yeah, let's fight another battle here in Musashi. Well, we're going to be fighting in the fog here, so I can't see them coming, but I can see them dying. So, let's let them come. I can't imagine they have anything too scary. I mean, I haven't really been keeping too close of the tabs on them, but... Oh, yeah, please just go first, Daimyo. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, last I saw, they just have a lot of Ashigaru, which is what I'm seeing here in the first wave can't quite see what they have in the rear there, but yeah, these are just Oh, these poor guys. Oh, these poor, poor guys. So they, uh, I don't see them lasting very long here. So that's that. And what about... Oh, God. This poor, poor brutality. Alright, what do we got here? Some Yari Samurai. Okay, the second wave is a little bit better. But I don't see them really being able to accomplish much either. And I tell you what, after like, you know, the beatdown that I'm going to be giving the Takeda clan in this battle, if the Imagawa clan does not take Kai at some point, my goodness, I mean, they, <laughs> this is, this is going to be their opportunity, as if the other two times, you know, also weren't. Alright, and just a big old train of Ashigaru in the back. Oh, and I have plenty of arrows, so, yeah, let's, uh, oh, God. Yeah. Daimyo's immediately down to seven men, and then it's just all of these Ashigaru. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Oh, it's just... Do they even have any archers, or is it just all Ashigaru and spearmen, and... I haven't seen any cav either. So it looks like my archers are getting pretty low. Looks like a lot of them are probably probably out of ammunition. Yeah, a lot of my archers are out of ammunition. But yeah, that's a. That we'll we'll see if they have any more waves in them. Nope, nope. That's a. That's gonna do it. I lost a zero man and I killed seven hundred and four. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that is just fantastic. And a Loyalist Revolt in Bungo. All right. Well, Shimazu is making a comeback. And, uh, yeah, it's not my problem. That's uh, all Mori's problem. So that's cool. And I am the richest clan in all of Japan. Well, it's about freaking time. And one more, one more turn before this castle in Awa falls to me. Not much of a revolt here in Bungo. It's really not much they're going to have to deal with. Does that mean they're back at war again? It doesn't say they are. Says they're still allies. It's interesting. Huh. And that means that I don't have to worry about any Mori attacks from that direction. Well, that's pretty sweet as well. Castle's gonna be finished this turn. And there's really, like, nothing around me that can threaten... Threaten this army here in Awa. So what I can do at this point, since the castle is going to be finished, and they're going to be... I mean, there's no more units here. And there's just this one Shimazu unit that's not going to be activated until next turn anyway. So what this means is... I mean, I can just leave, you know, like... These units here. I can leave a few more units as well. And then come and take Sanuki, just a Yari Samurai, and a Ashigaru. So I can just leave a handful of units just to keep the population loyalty good here and then bring this army here into Sanuki and I, I can bring in like another you know unit or two what do I need let's see I could bring another Yari Samurai and then a Yari Cav as well just to make sure that that's taken care of and then I can ooh they have a hundred percent Wow, they're making 760 off of farm income here in Sanuki. My god, that is some pretty sweet stuff. I can also bring a Shinobi to these provinces as well to make sure that's all good. 
All right, sweet. So we're gonna finish off Shikoku. Put taxes up to punitive, and everything is still good. Wow, man, everything is great. Looking good, looking good. And this army is coming along here. Let's just get one more turn in before I wrap things up here. Just want to finish off this invasion of Shikoku and wrap it up nice and tidy. Probably not going to be any battles here. I would, I'd imagine that the Mori is going to retreat from Sanuki. We will see if that ends up being the case. Let's end the turn here and ooh, not enough money. Ugh, damn. Castle has been finished in Eo. That's good. Mine complex has finished in Echigo. Nice. And looks like the Shimazu and the Mori, I'm guessing, are fighting again. <laughs> so that's uh, good for me as well. And here, oh, here we go. Oda's going to invade me. Interesting. I was wondering who was going to come first. And okay, so the Shimazu did a uh, re retreat from Bungo. And then uh, Ima, what? Imagawa also tried to fight in Bungo. Interesting. This is well. And then, yes, so Mori did retreat from Sanuki. So I got Sanuki for free. And then, yeah, I'm being invaded here in Isa. And yeah, I don't. So, yeah, if, if I was, I mean, again, I haven't really kept, kept uh, tabs on this Oda army. But last I checked, there's a lot of Naginata, which can hold. But, you know, I got warrior monks. They're pretty dang good. I have a decent general. It looks like the Oda is bringing, but it looks like I'm facing off against a four star general. And then I'm pretty sure my general is also four stars. It's hard to see, but in any case, let's get in. I am outnumbered by like 300, but still I have a lot of warrior monks and I have a lot of archers. Well, hmm. Okay. Not as many archers as I thought I had, but still enough to where this should be a pretty good battle. You know, I fought this battle as the attacker here in Isa so many times that, you know, it's probably about freaking time that I finally get to fight a defensive battle here. It's nothing too crazy, you know, like as far as the geography goes, but it is pretty terrifying to have to fight warrior monks in these two wooded hills that are pretty close together. Just because the distance between why is this not... There we go. The distance between these two forests is, you know, very, very uh, minimal when it comes to the amount of area that's not covered by trees. So if you're trying to get a clear line of sight on warrior monks so that you can shoot them, it's going to be really tough if you have to go down this side of the map. And it's a lot better if you can get engagements, obviously, out in the open against warrior monks, like over here. But if you have to fight on this side, it's just like, it's just miserable. So let's see what the enemy has here. I'm looking at some Yari Cav, scouting ahead. Some Naginata, Yari Samurai. How many archers do they have? Three, two, I can see two. I'm seeing two archers. That's not gonna be enough. <laughs> now that I've just filled this forest with a prickly army of warrior monks, Ashigaru and archers. Let's see what the enemy is going to do about this. They brought their daimyo too. My god. And I don't think he's that high. Like, I think they brought a four star general, but it's going to be his leadership, not that four star general. And I don't think he's four stars. I think he's two, maybe, maybe three tops, but nothing really to get too worried about. And I'm not seeing, yeah, I'm not seeing enough archers. Not that that, you know, that would make a difference because they decided to fight in the rain. And I am an L, so they're, you're not going to be able to do enough damage to my warrior monks. And it looks like they're, your already have got a little stuck on this building. And so we're going to see if they get activated during this battle here. It is a lot of Naginata to crack through, that's for sure. And these Naginata are silver shielded, if I, uh, if I remember correctly. So that's not nothing. But still, I mean, warrior monks are just sheer brutality. All right, let's get these not, uh, cav archer or yari cav to kind of like counter charge their cavalry. All right, so I might have to fight here. Let's go down and fight them. And yeah, I have warrior monks coming in. They can fight here. 
and my general can come in and fight. No, well, actually, yeah, that's fine. My general can come in and fight, and I'll have one unit of reserves back here. And let's have these warrior monks, actually, let's have these warrior monks come in and fight these Naginata. And let's see, it's a pretty fierce fight right there. So maybe have this reserve unit come down and help out against these Naginata. And my oh my, okay, they're, they're really committing a lot to this battle on this side. So maybe what I do is I bring over this unit of Yari Cav as well, and they can assist against these Yari Cav. And then, yeah, let's come down here and... Why is it... Man, it says they're winning. I'm just really shocked. Let's see. Come on, we should lose... Th we should win this battle, right? And let's see... So there's archers, archers... Huh, this is... So far, this is a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. Got archers coming in. All right, we got Cav to the rescue. Yari Cav. Come on, guys. I need you to come on over here and I need you to flank this Cav engagement. So come on over here. Like that. And yeah, man, everywhere I look, it says we're losing. So we can fight there. Let's have, let's see, do I have, yeah, Ashigaru, you can come down and fight as well. And then you guys can flank here and try to, hopefully we can break these Yari Cav. Because if we can open up this side here, that'd be great for me. And, yeah, how are we doing? Let's see, Ashigaru, do you flank these Naginata? And, let's see, archers, my archers are all shooting. How's that going? Alright, these guys can come in here and flank these Ashigaru on this side. And, okay, so I have another warrior monk here, they're just, just kind of sitting in the back. And I feel like I need them over on this side to, you know, kind of reinforce over here. And man, this this side is still still hanging in there. Man, oh man, they are fighting hard, fighting hard. This is a this is a tough fought little battle here. So yeah, I need this unit of warrior monks to come down and help out here to try to get try to get this cleaned up as well. I feel like we're doing well on this side, you know, well enough, I'd say. Let's see, Yuashigaru can come down and help out as well. Lend your weight to the battle. And let's see. Yeah, archers, man. Yeah, this is tight. I might want to throw my archers into combat here. Where's the daimyo? Where? Oh, the daimyo's over here. Oh, okay. Now he's running away. Yeah, man, I wasn't even paying attention to that. The daimyo was here the whole time. So let's potentially try to kill him. We might get away. He's probably going to get away. And it looks like we were able to break them. So that's good. Alright, that's pretty good. And now with our cav, let's try to run down as many of these archers as possible. Now I know they're going to have some reinforcements. Not a ton, not a crazy amount, but they will have some reinforcements coming on here. We should get a lot of kills here on these archers. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, they decided they wanted to come back and try to get some more shots in on me. Oh man, look at this! Look at this hill, man. That was a, that was a bloody battle. That was a, that was a lot. That was a lot harder than I thought. Those uh, those Naginata, they really held their ground, and they 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 did damage too. Or at least someone did damage to me. I mean, I I guess maybe it was the three units of archers shooting at me, but you know the whole fight was in a forest. Like, how did uh how did I take that much damage from archers? Holy moly, and we just killed the daimyo. He just died right here. Okay. Man, he just died to some Yari Cav. Good job, guys. Well, you can definitely go back to the army and just see if there's any reinforcements that's going to come on. Probably not. They probably have had enough after that brutality. Yeah, they, yeah there's a few coming on, but we'll see if they're actually going to stay and fight. My archers do have ammunition, so yeah, I'm wondering if they were too blocked up and if they didn't really f shoot much, because they have a ton of ammunition, so let's just fast forward here and see if we're actually going to get a fight. Oh, and here's the archers they needed. My oh my, yeah, just <laughs> there's quite a bit of archers here. A few spearmen as well, and yeah, they probably could have used some more archers. 
And I don't really have the cat. Like, I don't have strong enough calf to just kind of chase off all these archers. So if it comes down to it, I might have to just leave my forest and actually charge this army. Which, uh, can be a little bit precarious here. So let's, let's let them come forward and let's just see how this goes. And that might be it. Yeah, I don't think they actually want to fight here. They give me a few volleys for sure, but... I don't see this going anywhere for them. And yeah, that's that's pretty good, but definitely took some casualties for sure. My oh my, and I'm going to need to bring in my uh, my other reinforcement army, which is um, still a couple turns away from being ready, but I can still send it over just right now, you know, the guys that I have. Because now that I'm weakened, I lost 511 men, my goodness. I did kill 762, but now that I'm weakened, there's no reason for the Mori clan to not attack me here, you know? So the siege in Awa is over. This general is now... Ooh, wait. Get to Take Tatsuoki. He's now third rank. I thought, wasn't he fourth? Or did, did I have a general die in that battle? Huh. In any case, average harvest making five grand. Men are your castles. Oh. Men are your walls. And the Oda clan had no heirs. Okay, well that's that's it for them. My goodness, yeah. That's it. Shouldn't have uh, shouldn't have messed with me. All right, let's see. Let's get a shinobi here in Tosa. And uh, it's too bad that the Mori clan are are back in Bungo. I liked having this be Shimazu territory. I mean, it's it's a lot of. Ashigaru, for sure. Nothing really too crazy here. Nothing too crazy. And yeah, Awaji and Baizen isn't too crazy either. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, let's see, get, definitely get a castle here. But this is going to be, this is a good area for my classic kind of satellite defense strategy, which is having one army stationed here in Awa, and then just having one unit, both in Io and Tanuki, so that they can retreat into these castles and that way I can defend this entire province or this entire island of, of Shikoku with only one army so I can retreat into a castle and then come to the aid of that garrison the next turn and yeah that's going to be that otherwise let's see here in Isa for sure I'm going to need um going to need some backups oh oh because the Oda clan was allied with the Takeda now they've inherited <laughs> Their, uh, their armies. That's interesting. Wow. Okay, because I'm at war with a lot of people now. I'm at war with the Takeda, the Oda, or sorry, not the Oda, just the Takeda and the Mori? Okay, I thought it was more than that. I was thinking the Yoda, right? But no, I am at war with the Takeda. They just attacked me, right? In Musashi, so... This is, uh, this is interesting. I wonder if the Imagawa are ever gonna get their hands dirty. It'd be nice, you know? I mean, sure, I can take on the world, but it'd be nice to have a friend to come along with me. But in any case, that's all going to have to wait until next episode. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching. I've been Kana Step, and this has been Shogun Total War. Thank you very much, and goodbye.